purples or white flowers. Um, okay, let's do some random white flowers like this. I just want to have, um, okay, sample this one and this one. Okay, for uh, white flowers, you need to have the um, darker background. But first wish always is light and wet and wet. You can even wet the place that you want to put your flowers. the paper okay um, as you know uh, white flowers are um, white flowers need to have um, different colors inside uh, let's start from the center I just dry my brush because the paper is wet right now. Mm. Okay. The next color is burnt sienna. I just put it here in left side of the stamen and here. But I just go around the circle by dots. Now burnt umber comes right here to make it more um, dimensional and darker. Okay, so you can have um, this color in the petals too because as you know the um, white flowers or subjects they have uh, the colors from surrounding which could be any color but I pick rose I just like this color for white flowers and then also a lot of blue. In this case, I used cerulean blue. Somewhere in there. And you know, whatever color that we are using in the subject um, should be all around the paint. So I add these colors that I use them. the center of the flower and all around the flower but you need to neutralize it by adding um, complementary color to it okay uh, the complementary of um, yellow is um, purple So I just put it again and just add some neutral color here. I'm not saying uh, you need to just use neutral color, but the same color could be helpful to like um, here and there. or a lot of rose this is first layer so it's just random color all, all around 
um, cerulean blue. Uh, let me put it right here and maybe here. Okay. I just blend them together. Um, okay, I told you if you want to have um, to show your white flower more white. You need to make back background darker and darker. Okay, I just go for dark color, which is um, let's use this one. Uh, again. It could be one kind of um, blue, which I use ultramarine blue here, and I neutralize it by adding some leftover here to it to make it neutral. Okay, so I just go for the negative painting, which is this one, and do the shape of my flower right here. And then I'm careful about this one too. And just fade it out. And at the same time, I'm careful about this shape too. I'm not using the same color all around, so I change it to the um, green color. But the um, thing is, you need to wash them out. Like, here, spread it out. And darker color, which could be indigo for As you see, when you add very dark color here, you can change the um, shape of the petals too. If you have a sketch, you, need, you can follow your sketch. And then also I just add dots and lines, but everything goes, um, everything goes into each other like this. I just use this color, which is Brent Sienna. Maybe right here, but I stick it to the um, indigo that I had here. Okay, I just turn it over to make sure I have background here too. Okay, again, I'm just going to do some negative painting, which is this. And then also I just fade it out like this. And look at this part. This part is um, rose. So I just picked um, a little rose and then go for this part. And again, I just fade it out. And leave some part. Nothing, almost nothing. It's good. So, even in this part, you can add a little dark color. Just a touch right here. And because the paper is wet, it flows down, so uh, it's, it's a good thing to happen. 
Okay. Again. Burned. Umber. Oh, burnt sino. And then fade it up. I leave this part um, be like this. And then fade this part out. Okay. Now I can make it darker to by adding indigo plus burnt umber, which makes it more I mean darker. Okay, now um, it's kind of dry, so I just put uh, some leaves like this i use more water in my brush and then go for a line in some touches here and there but they are connected to each other i can let it dry completely and add more dark to it but now i want to show you how you can um, add shadow into your flower As you see, I can make it darker and darker. So I start from light color. And then build up the darker value over the first light layer. And also with fingernail, you can create some movement all around.